Hey guys, so I know a lot of people are having issues with extraction on the new map Streets of Tarkov, so I figured I would take this map that was made by RE3MR. This is his website here if you want to check out more of his stuff. And then I highlighted a few things, renamed a few things, and just basically I'm going to make an in-depth extraction guide for the PMC extracts on this map, just so that you guys don't lose any loop by not knowing where to go. So I am going to go in a counterclockwise fashion, starting with Sewer River, working my way all the way around to Kilmoff Street. And just to try and help you guys, I will be starting with an X as to where my PMC starting position is and then a circle as to where he's going to be getting to and hopefully you guys will find this helpful all right guys so we're going to start with sewer river and for this one my pmc will be starting in front of the cinema we're just going to turn directly around from the cinema this is where the statue is and then when i turn back around then we are going to be going on the left hand side of the cinema so there is going to be a side street that's on the left hand side which we will be taking and then you will go all the way down to the very end of this road until you are up along a blue train car this is going to be what you're going to follow along on the right hand side to get down to where the sewer river is now if you're coming from the other way then you are going to go past nikita's store just as a point of reference once you see this jazz drive neon sign then this is also signify that you are where you're supposed to be so you're just going to follow this blue train car all the way around to the right until you come up to this fence once you get to this fence then you will get the green tax for extraction so now we're going to be going to the damaged house and again the pmc will be starting in front of the cinema so here's where the cinema is we turn right around this is where the statue is and again we will be going on the left hand side of the cinema except for this time instead of taking the left road we will be going straight all the way down towards the end of this road so you're going to be going straight until you come up to this excavator you're going to go on the left side of the excavator and then up the little hill into where this house is well basically broken and you are going to be going inside of the door and then take a right and then you will see a door on the far left side and then this is where the extract is so this time we're going to be going to the courtyard extract and again my PMC will be starting from the front of the cinema and then we'll be going on the right side of the cinema this time. So you will see two FCK store emblems here on the right hand side. We're going to be going into the arched doorway here. Now you can see if this extract is open right from where I currently am because there will be a green smoke that's going to be right here where I'm pointing. If there is no green smoke it is not open so don't waste your time coming down here. But the actual location for the extract if there is green smoke is right down here in this little hallway. But if it is open by the time that you get down to the bottom of that staircase to that door, then you will have a timer that will start. Now I'll be showing you guys where the car extract is located and my PMC will be starting in between the statue and the cinema. So here's where the cinema is located directly behind me is where the statue is as well as the huge Concordia building that you can see in the distance. Now we will be heading in the direction of the statue and then actually going past it all the way up towards this green bus. Once you get to the green bus you will be taking a left and then you will see a huge blockade and on the left hand side of that blockade then there is a sniper sign. So we will be heading towards that sign going around in between these two pylons and then directly in front of me here where I'm going to be aiming this is where the car is normally located however it did not spawn in this raid for me so this is normally where you have to take it so now I'll be showing you guys where the evacuation zone extraction is and my PMC will be starting just in front of the statue. So I'm here just in front of the statue, which is right here. And then in the distance is where the cinema is. Now on my right hand side, this is where the car extract is located. So from looking at the car extract, we will turn directly around and then we will be veering towards the left and going past this oddly shaped building. Now we're going to stay on this road and go all the way down to the very end of it. But on our right hand side, just as a point of reference, this is where the collapsed crane area is. And that's just so that you guys can orientate yourself to where we are on the map. So we're going to go in between this transport and the building that has number nine on it. It, and that just signifies that you're going on the right way as well as this tapico sign on the top left here so all that stuff just means that you're going in the right direction so this is a dead end but if you do have this extract then it will light up once you get close to it and also to make sure that you're in the right place and there is a building on the right hand side that has number seven so this is what you need to see if you are coming for this extract Next is the collapsed crane and my PMC will be starting just across from the Sparger grocery store. So we're coming up in the crane area here. So this is the collapsed crane and then this is the one that's still up. So it is very easy to see from all throughout the map. This is where the Sparger grocery store is and then this is where the Lexos building is. So we are going to be going in between this fence and then the Sparger grocery store and then you will see an opening in the fence here on the right. So we will be going through that. Like I said, you did see the collapsed crane all the way from the outside and then we will be going right up here to where this little piece of sheet metal is kind of resting on the crane. And then this is where you're going to be able to extract from. So now I'll be bringing you guys to the scav checkpoint extraction and my PMC will be starting outside of Jacob and Jacob and the Pinewood Hotel. So I'm just outside the Pinewood Hotel which is right here and then this is the small cinema area. But we will be turning towards our right and then you will see a playground and we will be heading towards this area but before you get there you will take a right and we're going to go all the way down to the end of this street past this dump truck and before you end up getting towards the blue car at the end then you will take a left. 
Now you will see an ambulance and up above it, then you will see a Gatling gun and what looks like a fortified connex, but this fortified outpost is actually where the scav checkpoint is. So you just have to go in through the left hand side and all the way into the back, and then you will start to get your countdown timer for extraction. And then that's all that you have to do in order to get out at this area. So as you could tell, there were two roads that intersected there at the scav checkpoint. So if you are looking to get to this extraction from the other side, then the point of reference that you're looking for is the Sparger grocery store or the collapsed crane. So then you take the road that is directly across from the grocery store to get down to scav checkpoint. So now we'll be showing you guys the underpass extraction and my PMC will be starting back by Jacob and Jacob and Antica. All right guys, so now we're over on the other side of the Pinewood Hotel. So this is where the hotel is. And then if I turn to my right, then there is going to be a playground set that's right there just as a point of reference. So just like the Killamoth Street extract, we are gonna be running to the same end of the map. The only difference is that now we're doing it on the opposite side of the Pinewood Hotel. And we're gonna be going on the other side of this bus and then there will be another sign that signifies a sniper. So once we get to this sign, then we can look left and right. There are stairs that go down into an underground bunker and that is where the next extraction is so you can either enter on the left or the right i'll be showing you guys the left and then going back up on the right side actually so once you get down here then you just continue to go left and then you will have the option to extract right here on the left hand side kind of in this pile of garbage you just have to climb up here and then you will get the timer and i will show you just how you basically get down here or where you get down from the other side from and it's pretty much going to be just underneath of the hotel awning so you can come right up and then there you have it so lastly, we will be going to the Killmoth Street Extract and my PMC will be starting next to Nikita's store. So we're just up the road from the Sewer River Extract and this is where the Pinewood Hotel is and on my right hand side is where Nikita's store is. So you can see his face here on the two logos and we are gonna be running just along this building that has Nikita's store in it all the way down until we hit a Russian sign. So we're gonna stay in between these buildings and then the Pinewood Hotel. And once you hit this Russian sign, I'm not sure it must say stop or sniper or something, but if you go past this sign, unless you have a green flare, then you will be shot dead. So either you and or your friends have have to have one green flare for your group in order to shoot it up towards these huge ass buildings and then that will allow you to go forward like i said if you don't have it then if you try to go forward into the extraction zone then you will be shot i really can't tell you guys how to get the green flare at this time once i do find out i will make a guide for it but nevertheless hopefully you guys were able to utilize one of the other extractions that i pointed out in this video and that you guys were able to get out with all of the items that you have looted during your raid thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and have a fantastic rest of your day